guys, so I just wanted to give you a quick little update on what's going on with my spasmatic supplements. As you've seen in the title, Amazon is now charging a $3,000 non-refundable fee for any business that sells supplements on Amazon. That means if you want to sell supplements on Amazon or if you already sell supplements on Amazon. I think it's freaking bull crap. I'm a little pissed off about it because listen, man, you know, it's been said if you're good, you know, no one goes to war without first examining the costs and everything that's involved with going to war. You know, same thing in business, man. You know, when you go into business, you have a game plan, right? All right, I'm gonna have an eBay store, I'm gonna have a this store, I'm gonna get online, we're gonna have Facebook ads, we're gonna do this, this, that, this, and another, right? So an integral part of selling supplements, now whether it's my company or another company, especially like a, a, a company that's just starting out, an integral part of the supplement industry right now is Amazon. There's more products, more bodybuilding stuff, health products, sports nutrition products bought on Amazon than any other avenue, any other outlet, any other store in the entire world. So, you know, part of my game plan was, yeah, I'm gonna get on Amazon, I'm gonna sell all these freaking products on Amazon, and it's gonna be awesome. We're gonna be killing it on Amazon. So I'm filling out my information, you know, my application, yada, 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 and I talked to a customer service rep, kind of try to walk me through it because they don't they don't make it easy, okay? Trying to get on Amazon, they don't, I don't know why, they don't make it easy. So homeboy's like, oh yeah, man, there's a $3,000 non-refundable upfront fee to get classified in the dietary supplement classification. I'm like, hold up, man, wait a minute. $3,000? No, I said, look, dude, there, there, are you sure? There's gotta be an issue. Homeboy puts me in hold, he goes ask somebody, comes back on the phone, oh yeah, there's a $3,000 non-refundable fee. I'm like, I, I'm not paying that, dude. I, I ain't paying it. I don't wanna pay that, I'm not gonna pay it. Um, I'm sure eventually as I grow and more capital, more revenue comes into my business, I will have to freaking pay it because you have to be on Amazon. But dude, I, I called one of my boys he owns a supplement line. I'm, he kills it on Amazon. Like everything's on Amazon. I said, hey man, they just started this brand new thing just recently. Just recently, they're charging everybody in the dietary supplement classification three thousand dollars. And he's like, no man, I haven't gotten that. No, no, I don't. I don't know if that's true, dude. He's gonna get a letter really soon telling him that he's gonna have to pay three thousand dollars. And I don't know if you know, but you gotta sell a lot of dang product to come up with $3,000 non-refundable. You know what I mean? Freaking crazy. Now, I do see the good thing in it because, you know, there's a lot of riffraff on Amazon. You got companies that are, they're working out of their garage and no hate on that, I got, I'm working out of my garage essentially. You know what I'm saying? But what's happening is they're kind of ruining the industry for others on there is because they're buying the products and only making like 25 cents on a bottle and they're lowballing the price and they're destroying price integrity for a lot of companies. And it's really not good for the economy. It's hard to explain. I won't I won't get into it. But I do see the good thing. You know, it eliminates the riffraff, but dang, $3,000. Gee, freaking whiz, dude, it ain't hard enough to do business. You know, it's pretty crazy. You can have an Amazon store, if you want to pay $3,000, you can have a Walmart store. Yes, you can have a Walmart store. You can have an eBay store. You can have a Jet.com store. I mean, really, when you own a company, a supplement company, dude, you got to make sure you're on every single avenue. Every single avenue. Every store you can get your hands on. Big thing is, make sure you have a good price because if you sell to your retail stores and your retail stores are, you're talking to a retail store and a retail store is like, yeah, man, I, I'm, I'm thinking about picking up your product line. I want to sell it in my stores. Do you sell it online? Yeah, I sell it online. Oh, where do you sell it at? Well, I sell it on Amazon. It's on a Walmart.com, Jet.com. Oh, really? Sell it online? That many places? What's your price? And you're like, well, I sell for $33.99. And it's like, wait a minute, wait a minute. Store owners can be pissed and be like, listen, how am I going to sell it when they're just going to, customers are going to go online and just buy the crap for $5 cheaper with free shipping. So you gotta be real careful. But why to keep you in a loop, man, that was a dramatic hit to everybody that owns a supplement line. 
including me that just started out. I mean, it was like a freaking, I'm pissed. I'm really pissed off. So what can you do, man? You roll with the punches, you go with those hurdles and um, find another way to make it happen. All right, guys, wanted to fill you in. Don't forget to subscribe. Check out Spasmatic Pre-Workout.